Hey guys, welcome back to another analysis of my chess games. Uh, I played last Saturday in Swiss First League, a uh, game of white, and this we will yeah check it out together, what went good, what went not so good. So we had uh, Karakan opening, <coughs> um, well-known theory. Um, I play it with h4, knight f h3, um, c3 for protecting d4, in case I want to play bishop d3. Um, here are already several options, like one idea is to play this move, to attacking this pawn that he can't um, develop. Uh, his bishop from f8 and then a possible line would be this and yeah just exchange some stuff so it's not really winning oriented uh, bishop d6 queen b3 i played is not so good like the idea was um attack the target on e6 with bishop knight and queen that i can sacrifice at once and attacking b7 but it's you can easily defend it just with queen c7 um what would have been the alternatives like instead of queen b3 i could play it um bishop d3 and then make this this exchange and then his yeah good bishop i would say is um out of the way but okay this was the game um, I analyzed what would happen to b5 I calculated that as well in the line but then I can take here on e6 and then if he takes it's not so good because I can yeah Played knight e6 with attacking both, like f8 and d8, so he can't castle either side. But I can also make this first, because knight e6, queen e7, it's pinned. So option would be castle, castle, then this, and then I have this discovered attack here. Um, if he plays queen e7, that's what I explained before. And black is slightly better. So I played knight g e2. Um, here I changed the bishop. Uh, here I should have yeah played bishop d3 with the idea it looks first that I will lose a piece because one two three one two but the interesting thing is takes 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 and now we can take here and let's say if he would take that would be a mistake because he win a piece but i have queen b7 and then this rook is lost um but he can play here knight d7 i can't take because rook b8 then b2 and h7 is hanging and so on but bishop takes d5 was not so good because uh, this one takes and my idea was just not correct um, i played knight here he played uh, king f8 which surprised me a bit for protecting this pawn i thought he will castle short but on this I just exchanged the bishop pair and now I was quite happy here so far um, it's an equal position it's not like it's one or something but at least it's playable then here I found a good move was computer confirmed that I played h5 that he can never play g6 or g5 without damaging his pawn structure um, then continued, rook b8, a4, preventing b5. 
queen d6, then I traded the queens. Um, here are several options. I could have castled and so on. But I played rook h3 with the idea rook g7, rook g3 attacking g7. b5 takes takes. And now I made a, a bad move. I played b3. And then next move is clear. He just attacks it. I defend it and he attacks it. And now that I don't lose the pawn, I either have to play b4 or rook a6. Um, there's also one other option. I can show you that quickly. Um, c4 with attacking rook, but it's a complicated line and I didn't calculate it to the end, to be honest. Uh, takes takes, then he plays this, then d5, attacking knight, if knight goes away I can take with check and then escape, so he takes, takes, knight d4, and then knight e2, protecting here, um, if he takes, I can give a check and then take here and if he takes here here and so on and so on um, I played rook a6 that was not the best move here I played b4 because I didn't want to lose the pawn but now we see the problem this pawn here is really weak if I exchange this if I don't exchange he will just run and that was not good played and now the following moves were inaccurate, like um, I played king d2, which allows him to play bishop f5 with tempo, rook e3, I tried this trick to take here because of the pin, but he simply went there. Um, another idea would have been first rook e3. And then he defends it, and then I can take and defend it like that. Would have been much better, but still better for black. Um, then, yeah, this is the game. Um, the thing is, if I take here, knight takes, fork is threatening, and rook b3, so I didn't want it to play too passive. So I played this. Um, you will see the idea afterwards. Um, takes. Now I take here. G4. Attacks this bishop. He takes first with check. I have to take with king. Otherwise the bishop is not pinned anymore. And here I don't have to take it now. Here I had to take and here it was basically over. Because yeah, he will just win the pawns, and that's the game. Um, we go quickly through the last moves. Um, he made two passed pawns, two connected passed pawns, and then, yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, so he played it solid at the end. Now I have to trade off, and now it's hopeless to continue this. Um, yeah, where was the mistake? Um, by the opening I was quite good, then I made some strange moves, like I took here first, and then I played it here a bit wrong with this b5 motives, and the last bad move was queen d2 afterwards, that was lost. So yeah, I lost a bit against a younger opponent, a bit weaker, but yeah, young people are always difficult to play. And yeah, I will change my openings since I don't have any exams anymore. And yeah, that was it for this classical game. I hope next time I will win again. And I hope you learned something. Hit the subscribe button if you didn't do it yet. And please leave a comment or a thumbs up there, it would be helpful for me. 
With this watch, I wish you all the best and see you next time.